a servant of God's will. The Word of God reads in Colossians, the very first verse, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, and Timotheus, our brother, a servant of God's will. Our desire and our purpose should be the will of the Father, because it is the Father who brought us into His will. As believers, we are called to walk in God's will because God has brought us in. Now we are a part of the works of the living God. And that's why when the word says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, Paul was not established as an apostle because he desired to be an apostle. And even the Word of God tells us to desire the gifts of God, but the Word never tells us to desire apostleship, because apostleship is given to certain individuals. And according to God's Word, it was given to the twelve that followed Jesus, and ultimately was taken away from Judas, who betrayed Jesus. Jesus. And Paul, we might say, became the twelfth apostle uh, because he was called by Jesus Christ. And when you are brought into, amen, and we are set in place by God, I like to say that we are all, in a sense, by God Almighty. We are uh, called unto salvation, but we are placed into the body of Christ. We are called to our salvation, but then we are placed in the body of Christ according to God's will and according to His purpose. Not our own will, not our own purposes, but rather God's purposes. So that's why many are walking, dearly beloved, in disobedience even to the Word of God because they have placed themselves in positions or they have allowed men to place them in positions but when God calls us he in turn place us where we ought to be placed so dearly beloved in God's word know that Paul was called as an apostle and the question we have to ask ourselves personally what have I or where have I been placed in the body of Christ? There is a purpose for your life. There is something that God has uh, placed within your heart and He has placed you. You might be one whom God has called to pray in a very powerful way that He will hear your prayers when you pray. He may not have called you or place you in a ministry of teaching. But dearly beloved, your ministry, your calling, or your placing is as important as any other works within the body of Christ. Never take for granted the gift that God has established in you. Or desire to establish in you for all gifts unto man has been given by God with a purpose in this earth so dearly beloved walk in your purpose walk in God's will which is the purpose that he has established in you and no matter how you may look at it or describe it or believe in some way that it is mundane, dearly beloved, all that God gives is established and stamped with His glory. So never take what God has given to you for granted, but use it 
for God will be glorified through it. God bless you today and keep you.